Thank you guys for joining me today. So in this lesson, I'm gonna go over uh, the terms this, that, and that. Um, the final two that's are distinguished in a way which we'll discuss further. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look. So for this, meaning an object within reach or something nearby, I would use the uh, Korean expression e, uh, which you should see on screen. For that, gu, and I would use this particular version of that to describe something that was already discussed in a sentence, or it's an idea that between two people or in context for a large group of people perhaps, uh, we're all aware of what that refers to. Maybe it was mentioned in a previous sentence or a previous thought, but in this instance, gu refers to that which was already named. However, if I'm referring to that, meaning something that's far away, it's not within reach. If I were to refer to something that's far away, it's not within reach, um, I couldn't use the expression e for this. I would have to say uh, jo. So jo is something that is far from me. We can look at a couple of examples. Uh, the word for person is salam. Um, if I were to say this person, I would say e salam. Uh, if I were to say uh, that person, in the context of a sentence that this person is someone we're familiar with, I would say gu salam. Uh, if I'm talking about someone far away, I would refer to them as uh, jo salam. So those are a couple of examples. You could do the same thing with man. So e namja, this man, uh, gu namja, which is that man, or, gu, or uh, jo namja, so he's far away, but I'm talking about that man. In terms of the structure of the sentence, uh, Either e, gu, or jo would be placed before the noun that it's referring to. In the same way that you would use this, that um, in a sentence in English, you would place it before the noun. Okay, another very brief video to rehearse some new learning that I've had uh, in review for me, and also as a way for you, perhaps if you're also learning Korean, to follow along with me. Uh, my Korean will get better. I apologize for the mispronunciations. I know this is. It's all very new, but hopefully by the end of this, we will have acquired enough of the language to be able to have a conversation in class when we're back in school. Um, otherwise, I encourage you to continue to study your foreign language, whether it's Spanish, Farsi, or whatever you've decided. Keep it up, and I look forward to hearing about all the great things you guys have learned. All right, bye.